Today we examine the case of Jake Weissman, who was brutally murdered on the evening of April 20th, 2014. This case has been reopened as new evidence has come to light in the form of a cell phone video taken the night of Jake's death. I'm sorry. I just can't take it anymore. If you find this video, I'm sorry. What happened between that moment and Jake's murder? Who was it that killed him? Was it me? The evidence points to no, it wasn't me. It is quite possible that Jake's killer was in the room with him. I'm sorry, I just can't take it anymore. Whoever finds this video... He approached I'm, from behind. I'm sorry. Knocked Jake's gun away and shot him. But then where is the second gun? To this day, only one gun has been found at the crime scene. We realize this, and we're forced to accept the truth. It was a sniper. The assassin shadowed Jake for weeks, waiting for the perfect moment. Watching as Jake found out all his friends and family had been killed in a fire. Oh my God, my family is dead? Oh my God! And that very night, as Jake made his cell phone video, video, the sniper found his chance. <laughs> to confirm this theory, we met with the Los Angeles County Coroner, who performed Jake Weissman's autopsy and is a scientist. The sniper theory is clearly absurd. The evidence strongly suggests that this was a suicide attempt. What I believe is Jake's neighbor attempted to commit suicide. I just can't take it anymore. Whoever finds this video, tell my mom it's not her fault. But then at the last so moment, sorry. she missed. The bullet went through her window, directly through Jake's window, and striking Jake moments before the second gunman could take a shot. But what about the note that was found next to Jake's body? It was the neighbor's suicide note. It got caught by a gust of wind, blew out her window, wafted through Jake's window, landing perfectly next to Jake's dead body. But what about me? Earlier, I said it wasn't me. But was it? I just can't take it anymore. Maybe I was there, filming Jake's video. Whoever finds this video... The second I'm, gunman approached. I'm sorry. But I knocked his gun away. The sniper fired. But I deflected the bullet. The neighbor's bullet then struck the second gunman, giving me the perfect opportunity to murder Jake. To respond to these claims, I've agreed to an interview. In order to protect me, my identity has been hidden. I don't think it was me. Jake's death remains a mystery. If you have any information on Jake or the whereabouts of his killer, please call this number immediately. Thank you for joining us at Still Open Case Files. And remember, nothing you have ever heard is true.